Welcome back everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over a few different ways that you can create custom legends for your matplotlib and cardopy plots. Before we start, let's go over a few notes. When we talk about handles and labels, we are referring to these definitions here, where handles are a list of artists, such as lines and patches, to be added to the legend. Labels are a list of labels to show next to the artist. These are the imports that we will be using, which include NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Cardopy, and the Vega datasets. Let's go ahead and get started with our examples. And for these examples, we're going to focus mainly on the parts of the code that allow us to create our custom legends. Okay, for our first example, we want to create a legend where the values correspond to the sizes of the scatterplot points or bubbles. And the legend will look like this. Here we have created our data and our scatter plot. This data here gives the bubbles their size, which is what we see in the legend. Now we're ready to create our custom legend. We start out with our scatter plot variable that we created here. Then we use a dot legend elements, and inside the legend elements round brackets, we assign sizes to the prop argument. For the alpha transparency, we use 0.2. Then we use plt.legend and we put in the handles and the labels. We can use the loc argument to position the legend, and we assign sizes to the title. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we have our scatter plot with our custom legend. Before we move on, let's go over some of the other parameters or arguments that you can use with legend elements. For the prop parameter, you can use colors or sizes. In this example, we use sizes. Other parameters include num, which is the target number of elements to create. The format, which is the format or formatter to use for the labels. And the function, which allows you to calculate the labels if needed. Okay, let's move on to our second example. And the second example will be very similar to this example. However, we're going to use a map. And we will also use code very similar to this here. The data that we're going to use looks like this. And it includes population data by city. The data comes from Wikipedia. Here we have the same data. We've just cleaned it up a little bit and put it in the form of a data frame. And then here we've added some extra columns. Specifically the labels column. And this is the column we're going to use for our legend. You don't have to add extra columns to the data frame. Instead, you can use the legend elements format argument. Okay, with this code, we have created our map. And then here we have created our scatter plot. And that will give us a map that looks like this. And just like before, we use the legend elements. However, you'll notice in this case, we're going to use some custom labels which are these labels here. Since we're using our custom labels for the labels here, we use an underscore. And as we mentioned, this code is very similar to our previous example. Let's go ahead and run it. And we get our map with our custom legend. Okay, for this example, we want to create a legend with colors and labels. We go ahead and create our data. And here we have created our scatter plot. The C argument gives us our colors, and then the C map gives us our color scheme. And for that, we're going to use cool warm. Just like before, in the previous examples, we're going to use the legend elements to help us create our handles and labels. So here we have our handles, and instead of using the default labels, we're going to use these labels here. Then we use plt.legend and put in our handles and labels. And this code here puts the labels on the scatter plot. Let's go ahead and run it. Now you'll notice for the prop argument, we use colors. And that helps give us our custom legend with the colors that correspond to our plot. Okay, for the next example, we're going to do something similar, but using a map. We're going to use the airports data set from the Vega data sets. And it looks like this. Using this code, we create our map. 
And then using this code, we create our scatter plot. For our custom legend, once again, we use legend elements. And for the prop argument, we assign colors. We want to go ahead and create our handles and labels. And for the labels, we're going to use this data here, which are these labels. Let's run it. And here we have our map and our custom legend. OK, for the next example, we're going to go over how you can add a color bar to a chart or plot. And we're going to use some cars data from the Vega data sets to create a correlation matrix. Using this code here, we create the correlation matrix heat map. And then to add the color bar, all we have to do is use plt.colorbar. And we've used the shrink argument to shrink the color bar just a little bit. Let's go ahead and run it. And we get our correlation heat map with the color bar. Okay, for this example, we've gone ahead and created a map with a hex bin plot and a color bar. And the darker the color of the hex bin, that indicates a higher number of earthquakes in that area. Using this code, we have created our map. And then using this code, we have created our hex bin plot. And for the color bar, we use fig.colorbar. And inside the round brackets, we put in our hex bin plot. And then for the x argument, we assign the map. And we've gone ahead and used shrink to shrink the color bar just a little bit. And then here, we've given the color bar a label. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see when we run it, we get our hex bin plot with our custom color bar. And one quick note before we move on. The earthquakes data came from Kaggle. Okay, for our last example, we're going to create a line plot with a custom legend that looks like this. The first thing we've done is we've gone ahead and created our data here. And then here we create the plot with all of the lines. With this code, we've added some labels and some titles. And to create our custom legend, we use this code using the M patches, which we imported here. Okay, to create the patches, we use M patches.patch. Then inside the round brackets, we put the color and the label. And then finally, we use plt.legend. And we put the patches inside of a list and assign that to handles. Let's run it. And we get our plot with our custom legend with the patches. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.